folks again. Right-footed delivery into the edge of the six-yard area. Headed away, but only as far as Hemmings. Hemmings on the left foot, drives a shot which deflects of a defender, and Mason goes down to his left-hand side to make a very comfortable stop. As the conversion attempt has been completed as well, so it could be a long afternoon at six ways against a very good Saracen side. Here we see Cartwright coming forward for Guys. He's got a man to his right if he wants him. He's going to go on his own and get a shot away, which actually I think took a deflection off a defender, which took some of the sting out of it. And Tom Palmer makes a very regulation save down to his left hand side. It remains nil nil. Palmer thinks about underarming it to Nathan Cameron, which seems to be the uh, the main outlet so far this afternoon. And now, in fact, he's going to clear it from the turf, right-footed, looking for Amari Morgan-Smith, who jumps against George Cantrell, and Morgan-Smith will get it down and find Sterling. Sterling out to that left-hand side. Chance here for Caleb Richards to build Richards' tricky little customer. Now he delivers the ball in towards the near post. That's in! It's a goal! Harris have scored. <laughs> Hemmings, it is, taking the uh, credit. Well, in the end, it was that simple. Hemmings it is taking all the plaudits. But a lot of the credit for that goes to Caleb Richards. Tricky little run down the left-hand side. Lovely ball in. And a straightforward header into the net. I did wonder if... There's plenty of height in there if they can get the delivery right. Harriers need to be alert. Here comes the corner. Right-hand side. Plenty of height on it. And uh, oh, it drops inside the area. Shot, shot comes in, which is charged down. A second shot, which is deflected wide for another corner. Well, just for a moment, Harriers guilty of almost switching off at the back there. The first shot was very well blocked, to be fair. The second effort, cannon off a Harrier's leg, and here's Sterling. It's a fairly quiet game so far, Amari Sterling, I think, and bounces off a defender. We'll try and win it back, and it does really well, actually, to win it back. Now then, Sam Austin's got a bit of space in front of him. He's got to Sterling going on the overlap. Austin delivers it in, header comes, and it's just going to loop over the crossbar, but that's Harrier's best moment for, I reckon, 25 minutes. Yep, you'd be right. Yeah, 34, 34th minute now. Sterling finds Richards. Sterling. Forward it goes. That's a good ball. Finds Sam Austin, who's onside. Austin just on the edge of the air. Can he get his shot away? He can, and it's just over the bar. And, in fact, it took a deflection. It's a corner to Harriers. Now, that is by far and away the best moment for half an hour. They scored in the sixth minute, did Harriers. 36 played now. And that Hemming standing on the goalkeeper's toes breaks away now. Offers the short option. Sterling seems to have taken all day to take this and the, uh, the referee now will encourage him to get on with it I think it's played short to Hemmings a little reverse ball in that's a nice move can he set up someone here he can that's surely a shot from Bajrami into the corner and it's 2-0 well in the end it was a training ground move of that there's no doubt and a really neat finish by Geraldo Bajrami across the keeper into the far corner Harry has doubled their lead we were just saying the game really needed a catalyst to get people going. And they duly provided it, Matt Paddock. Yeah, there we go. A very nice, uh, very nice routine, as you say, off the training ground. Well, 37 minutes played. Harriers lead by two goals to nil. Lovely interchange between Sterling and Hemmings, it was, who went short. Went short, held it up, flicked it back in. Sterling did well to stay on side, actually. Goal for Mr. Number 16, Gerardo Cameron gets the offer of a short ball for Hemmings. He does well to spin his man well. Now he's bought a yard as That's a good ball inside the fullback. This is better from Harriers. Austin tries to deliver in. Really good block on the slide there. But Harriers still have a chance to deliver it back into all the far posts. It's loose inside the area. Could go anywhere. Appeals for handball. And it is going to be a penalty to Harriers. Guys, we can't believe it. But there was a huge, raucous appeal from the crowd behind the goal, and the referee was not too far away and immediately points to the spot. They surround the referee, do the Geisley players. Eventually, the referee is happy. It's going to be Ashley Hemmings, left-footed, with this penalty. Here comes Hemmings. Stuttering run-up. It's still a very stuttering run-up. Now he steps up to it and rolls it into the corner, low to the goalkeeper's left. The goalkeeper went to his right, and Harriers lead by three goals to nil. Ashley Hemmings has his second goal of the afternoon. Yep, he said reliable, and usually because he does that stuttering run-up as well, which can infuriate you as a supporter, but, uh, yeah, it's uh, worth the risk from Ashley Hemmings' point of view because uh, he knows he's composed and steady from that position and uh, almost always converts. Number 10, Ashley well, that does give. 
Russ Penn and Jimmy O'Connor, the option, making a change or two now if they want to uh, try to feed the ball through. And Morgan Smith was there. To be fair to Martin, he was trying to find him, but there were just too many bodies in the way. Now there's a chance for a break on here for uh, the visitors with uh, Ekpolo into the area late. In low to the near post, it's across everybody. And will drift behind for a goal kick. That was the best opportunity guys have created, bar none. Stone. Corner to Harriers on their right. They lead by three goals to nil. Hemmings to take. Plenty of bodies in there for Harriers. Here it comes, swung in towards the near post, headed away well by Stones, who's back helping out his uh, defence. Austin swings it out to that far side again. Harry's just about keeping in play. Is Hemming going to put it back in there? No, he's not. He plays a short ball to Sterling. Austin feeds it in field to Hemmings. Now then, Hemmings got a bit of yard into his space. His shot from distance is charged down and rolls through to Mason. And Mason, well, he thought about trying to release people early, but there wasn't a lot on, to be fair to him. As we wait play to resume with the throw into Harriers on that far side which folks is put into all sorts of trouble with the return pass and then goes to ground as well chance here for Stones to break forward now for Geisley Stones comes in gets a shot in which cannons off a uh, blocking defender is Nathan Cameron and over the crossbar for a corner and it all came from a poor return pass from the throw in so uh, that does not please Russ Penn as I think you could probably yeah, well, well, hear from where Johnston with this corner he's got the short option from substitute Andy Kellett but he's waving him away I think it's going to be delivered in Stones goes in to try and make a challenge it's delivered in and a header comes in from Cantrell which in the end is well over the crossbar but that was another training ground move but not as successful as Harriers training ground move of the first half Harriet. the uh, visiting captain Spencer and also you can understand the need for urgency and for something out of the game for guys because it's a really disastrous day for them otherwise if scores stay the same however you can't afford to be throwing yourselves in too much in challenges as we've seen in the last few minutes because as you point out there will be reducing their number yeah could come down to goal difference yet you don't know at the bottom it's um, very tight now there's a chance for them breaking forward here a good shot good save by Palmer as well it was uh, Johnston who break forward and uh, good save by Palmer he's had virtually nothing to do all afternoon and he got down smartly to his left hand side and beat that one away yes, I think individually they've got some very good players I've liked the look of them Becker at the back well, here's a chance for Harriers breaking forward now for a cross shot, which is uh, smothered by Mason going down to his right hand side, gathers it at the second attempt. Is that Sterling just breaking clear? Still, they're trying to play football, guys, to their credit, but they have come up against a side far better than them this afternoon. It's finished, Kidding against the Harriers, three guys, Lee Nils.